Command and Conquer. This is a demo. It basically gives you a few missions. I believe the missions in order are 1, 12, and 6. Though I could be wrong. They're all GDI missions. And um, that's basically that. Troops. Looks like the ship is doing quite a good job blowing up the turrets. Okay. Um, this is the course Command and Conquer. And this was um, pretty much the first real, real-time strategy game I played. And I actually played this demo first of all for playing the game. Um, the object is pretty much, you know, as you can probably guess, build up a force and annihilate your enemies. The difference, though, between this one and other um, RTSs like Warcraft is that they actually had so like the factions were uh, different. So you have like you know, GDI versus not, and GDI has like strong powerful units and G and nod has more um more so enemy units that are more like you know stealth and uh dagger or tactics i was going to quickly Roger. clean up in this mission and move on to the next one Now, what I really love about CNC had to be the music, and you're not really hearing it right now, but that's just because it's a demo. Um, I'll actually note that uh, at this time, you can actually get uh, Command and Conquer, Command and Conquer Red Alert, and uh, Tiberian Sun all um, all free now because they're all freeware. EA had uh, basically uh, for the decade of birthday of Command and Conquer released them all as freeware on 2007, I believe, and you can download them. Uh, in various places on the net, I don't know where, but for this uh, let's play, just doing the demo, just because it gives you a nice little mix of uh, command and conquer. So why not, uh, Dave? Now, as you see, we start off with uh, more advanced units, and here's what here's where it really comes into view that you have like you know really powerful. Really powerful, you know, units that can really kick ass. Okay, I'm just gonna. What I'm doing right now is I'm just sort of building up my guys. Uh, what should I say? I'm building up my force here just so. Uh, I'm not really doing anything. This is basically um, uh, the demo of the Command Conquer version. It's just a you know a basic overview of what the game's like. Um, the first mission, you know, standard mission, you know, you control your units and build some stuff. The second one actually has you get into the core of the game, where actually building a base and uh, building an army to fight the guys, the enemy. Move those guys away. Ooh! Left my base and got attacked. And now I'm low power. Squish him! Alright. Well, for the most part, I managed to uh, save up that threat, but at high cost. Yes, sir. Warning. Yes, sir. 
Okay, let's build a Humvee and explore that for a little bit. Anyhow, um, the basic uh, concept for base building in Command Conquer is a little bit different than StarCraft or WarCraft. You basically have this construction yard, which is like your uh, head, real headquarters that like builds up over your base. Then you have producing structures, pretty much like in StarCraft. But each of these uh, producing structures, um, there's only a primary building, and that's where you know your primary stuff comes out of. Um, in WarCraft, like each barracks is standalone or whatever. Here in um, the like uh, Command and Conquer universe, each building, you know, you build from this uh, tree, and then they pop out of the of the primary building, and that's how it works. I lose my uh, power plant right that kind of slowed me down a little bit, but it's still good. We'll build a communication center next so I can see what I'm doing. All right. So here's the Humphrey, and this is like your basic scouting unit. Okay. Yeah, I got more of these guys going. These are not the best thing for the rockets, but... Hey, lost that him, but oh well. As you can see, we've got a gauntlet over here of stuff I can go through, and then over here is where most of the other stuff is. Blend our Humvee so I can explore some more. Um, so in the CNC universe, you basically have like you know a more realistic type of uh, units instead of like being fancy, as you find in Warcraft or uh, um, Starcraft. You basically have tanks, you have soldiers, and they all do like you know what you expect them to do. Uh, they're coming this way, I guess. So let's send you guys to go deal with those. Ooh, he killed my guys. That's the expected. Oh, they're saying buggies this time soon. Now, <clears throat> what I find different about um, these games is that they really have you doing a lot of like tactics and serve instead of uh, in like StarCraft or Warcraft where it's like overpowered the enemy with a type of unit. Um, you basically have these like, you know, Humvees that explore and take out enemies. You've got these uh, tanks that just destroy. And you have to use like the tactics of your units to their advantage or else you basically lose. Uh, that's sort of what they aimed for doing in StarCraft when they came out with that. Though it's still quite a bit of like, you know, overpowered the enemy. You can do that too in Command Conquer, but it's a little bit more difficult because with infantry, they'll just get mangled if you like, you know, have like flame, flame tanks hitting them or whatnot. Oh, they're sending in some hardcore stuff. Here's a light tank. That's the enemy's uh, main tank. Nothing compared to these mammoth tanks, but you know, you get the base idea. Now I've got these guys that are a little bit more troublesome to my tanks. Alright, he took a bit of a beating. Now, in Red Alert, uh, Red Alert and Command Conquer, you eventually were able to get, or you had medics and they could like heal your units. Uh, can I call Tyrion and Sun? Here in, in like the first one though, they don't have that sort of ability for you. And it's a little bit more difficult to uh, handle ha uh, damaged units. Okay, so we got some more. He's probably dead, but 
His job is just to explore, not to really survive. Well, you know, he did survive. Awesome. So you can come back and be healed up. We'll build some Tiberium silos. And some power plants. So repair depots, they do pretty much what you expect them to do, to repair your vehicles. Um, looks like I got lucky. And you need them to repair, you know, stuff like this, which has uh, a tendency to uh, get da damage your vehicles over time. There's an artillery piece that's dead. Ah, let's pull the barracks too. Much like in StarCraft, each building has its own sort of you know tech tree. You need barracks and warcraft um war factories to build APCs and that sort of thing. Good, I got health pads, finally. Yes, sir. Now, Rona's tank, he's uh, repaired back to half. Um, each of these, like, you know, man of tanks have their own little special power in that they basically heal up when they take too much damage. Let the other one run away. Now what I might actually do is I might actually just try and build um, a refinery first so I can get more money going. So in the Command Conquer universe where you know resources they're basically just the one type. You basically have Tiberium in the Command Conquer and in Command Conquer Red Alert you have uh, um, the uh, ore and uh, gems that you can collect. It's a contrast to like, you know, what you have to do in uh, yes, um, StarCraft or Warcraft where you have free resources that you're managing. Like you have to have like food to increase your population cap, you have to have like wood and uh, gold to, you know, do whatever you want. Here in Cam uh, Congress it's Tiberium to do it, and it's really simplified it. So here it's basically about um, you build your, you know, your basic resource scatterer and get your stuff, and then that's that. And almost enough. Now, something I really liked about Command and Conquer is that, in terms of like, you know, the gameplay, it's more about, you know. Um, you send the correct units to attack the enemy, and in this case they're sending the wrong types of same vehicles when they should be sending their infantry. Specifically, they're sending lots and lots of infantry, but, you know, they're CPUs and they're configured to kind of lose in this setup. Having the radar helps quite a bit here. All right, that should help me quite a bit. And we'll build some orcas. You know what, I'm actually gonna build, or have three of these guys over here, and three of these guys over here. And you're gonna do some more exploring before I forget about you. So as you see in the setup, they have a bunch of turrets guarding the entrances and all that. And I started off with some pretty strong uh, tanks and infantry to combat it, but it's nothing too great. Ooh. Let's have you go over here. I think that tank will follow me, so let him follow me. 
The uh, actual Tiberium here, how it's uh, done in lore is that it actually damages your units when your guy's near it, so you have to be careful, but uh, at the same time, um, you have to mine it for your money. Go a couple helicopters. We're done repairing, so let's go draw the... Okay, we got buggies coming now. Anyhow, let's just look a little bit about these infantry and how they work. So, you got your mini gunner, and that's like your standard infantry, infantry type en um, enemy, uh, or combat unit. Good ideas, they're sort of like a mix of, they're good against uh, um, infantry, but they're... Uh, more, more so better against having a mass, mass infantry attacks against it. So you send like a few cannoneers, they, they attack a few bunch, bunch of units and they kill them all with uh, grenades. Uh, the rocket or bazooka guy here, he's good against like anti-armor. Engineers are good against enemy structures or repairing your own structures. Orcas are like, you know, uh, versatile combat units for the air. APCs are your standard, um, you know, carries your personnel to, the to and fro front of battle. Um, and it sort of like continues in that sort of pattern. Let's have the orcas go in and start attacking these guys. It's kind of dangerous to have deals around, so let's forget the idea. Uh, let's move these guys over here. My orcas are attacking. Looks like they almost killed that. I got guys coming up here apparently. I gotta watch that because they can get around here and attack stuff. Let's go finish off this turret. He's getting a little bit too close. Okay, they killed the uh, guy over there. Get rid of him. These APCs are basically going to serve as my uh, infantry guard for the most part. Alright, we're going to keep killing off these turrets so I don't have to worry about them. And I'll start building a couple of these watchtowers. Now, you'll find in the missions that you get these... Uh, Units that you can't build every so often, and, that, and that's kind of the something they did, I guess. Uh, they have it so sometimes you get units you can't build, like these may have tanks right away, but you get them eventually in, as you progress in the game, where you can build them. Uh, let's move you back up and you back up. Send you over here. Built a few Tiberian silos down. Now, much like in uh, uh, StarCraft, you can make groups of enemies. Works here as well. And it'll blah, blah, blah. blah. Take care of that. You'll forget forever on a repair pad. I keep forgetting about you. Unit 
Here goes another turret. I'm gonna pull this other guy to me. You'll follow. I will kill. So let's go, I guess, through the vehicles that they have. Um, you've already seen me use the Humvee quite a bit, so that's my exploration, like, you know, gunning down type unit. Then you have, like, you know, your ta medium tank, that's just your standard GDI uh, battle tank in the beginning. Um, it's fa fairly cheap for what it's worth, though it takes up a tile space where, you know, each one has to take a tile space. <clears throat> you also have your Orca attack helicopters, they're like your airborne units that basically mangle units as they come close. Send these over here. And you've got like, you know, your harvester which carries your resources and APC which carries your guys to and from the battle and also acts as your basic anti-personnel carrier. Now these guys can't actually really explore for you. Not that it really matters. Let's send this guy back over here. Now you can't exactly, you know, toggle up a whole bunch of guys in Command Conquer. They didn't have that just yet, but it's still fairly interesting in how you can uh, have like a bunch of guys, you know, um, built and there's no population cap in this one. They d didn't have one in StarCraft 2 either, and I think they sort of built it off of this sort of concept. People don't like to manage their supplies, and it's like a needless resource that they have, people don't want to manage. Do, 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 do. Now exploration is kind of hard in this game. As you can see, I'm sort of just sort of getting very little out of uh, exploration here. It's coming, but not a whole lot. Yeah, this guy's attacking me now. Let's go with tank. Oh, he's moving, so let's just kill this. Okay, let's kill this guy. As you see, he's moving around to try and avoid fire. Doesn't help him too much. Damage him a little bit. Building one of these. I'm building a lot of stuff, and then you see I'm building a lot of earth, uh, um, anti personnel carriers and tanks right away. Uh, purpose for building those is that they make for like nice little um, uh, types of enemies I can use to building. defend myself. Yes, Let's send this guy up here. Send these guys first, I guess. Let me kill these guys. Kill them. These guys are going to attack me up here. Uh, go here. Let's see if I can pop possibly get my APC over here. No, nope, not in time. I should probably move these guys down a little bit. Power problems? Gotta fix those out. I'm not saying my orcas should attack those guys because these guys can actually hit air units too. Sadly. Gotta stop the recording. Sorry about that, I had to take a break for 
<clears throat> a family member there. So, we basically are in here, got my uh, guys training up. Have I lost my Humvee? No, you're there. If you can go there. Over in this section is the base that I'm trying to destroy, but I'm being very cautious because there's a certain um, weapon there that can really mess up my day. I hear tank sounds, but I don't know what's making them occur. Yes, Construction complete. Got a couple tanks coming, but don't really care about those just yet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we got some artillery to, or to kill. Now usually GDI can't attack civilians, but in this mission you can for some reason. You attack all civilians. Whoa! Went too close to the base. So we basically managed to explore everything I'm going to with this uh, Humvee. Now in Railer 2, it doesn't actually tar target your uh, um, construction area when you jump to your home base, but whatever. It does in uh, Command Conquer, sadly. Okay, we're going to move some of these guys down a little bit. I should be able to take out one of these tanks if I send them after him. The CPU wasn't too perfect when it came to uh, Strategy and command conquer, but it did well, good enough job. I should have enough tanks by now. I'm gonna blow up these guys before I go try and explore up here. You'll see why I'm being very cautious of this base, or in fact, that's the base. Along with me having the very powerful tanks. The Emmy has a very powerful uh, defensive weapon. You can take kill this guy. Well, let's try moving up this way. So here's the back of the base. And much like myself, we have a plateau where it's possible to, you know, 
Look over at the base. I almost managed to explore everything. I've actually missed this civilian, but I'll do that, I guess, in out. another vehicle that can do that. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. So is there enemy structures? Out. Yes, There's a SAM site. I'll Moving shoot down out. my helicopters until they get too close. And here's what's going to happen. Here's the main weapon I'm scared of, the Obelisk of uh, White. And while that's there, it's very difficult to move in on this base, but I do have the ability to, you know, try and mosey around him, so... We're going to start moving these guys down. You know, we'll actually commit everything. I don't need to keep these tanks and... Before I go, let's go in here though. I'll show you what's in here. So you know, just basic ceiling town. I usually, do, as I say, GGI protects civilians, but in this one you can kill them if you want to. It will add to your score, I think. Not really sure. Looks like they're sending a nice little force, but this will be more enough to take care of them. Lost my grenade, but it's fine. They got a hit on me. As you see, it's a fairly long range. But it's a bitch to try and attack it head on because it's behind walls and all that, so we're just going to keep moving like this. And hopefully these guys will make it through before uh, I lose another one. I'll leave them to blow up that. Now if I want to, I should be able to send my orcers in now to kill this guy if I want to. Though I also have the ability to uh, power down the Opus by blowing up the power plants. But this is quicker. I want to get this down as quickly as possible. Apparently I can't do it with just three orcas. A lot of defense on that one thing. You guys go down here. There's of course some guys that'll make it out, but whatever. Yes, sir. Start firing in this direction. Building. This is gonna get all their attention because you know their base is under attack. And the uh, yes, sir. enemy always just never likes it when you start attacking their base. This gets them going real quickly. I brought the APCs to help me with the infantry, as you can see. <clears throat> now, in GDI, I find that the infantry are kind of useless, that's why I didn't build any, but I could if I want to. Yes, sir. 
Oops, we're still powering that obelisk. Nope, didn't get away in time. If I blow up this power plant and these two, there should be almost enough power that this thing should be offline if I get close to it now. Let's kill this before they produce any more inventory to kill me. These guys in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Move down. Still got power in that thing. Yes, Let's just attack these power plants so I get offline. All right, it's offline finally, I think. Yep. So once you get all the power down, this thing goes offline, but you need to kill all the power plants really to do it. And it takes forever to do that. And now he's done. It's just finishing him off at this point. Well, through fire, all the things in there. As you can see, they're rebuilding their base too. The tanks are not exactly the greatest thing for attacking infantry in this one, but they do a well enough job. And it's building up his power plants again. If I really want to stop, I should kill that so he can't do that. Blowing up the construction yard prevents construction of new buildings, and that's the main main goal. Blow up this, and they can't build a you know anything else. As you can see, build a new harvester. New vehicles. Yes, sir. 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 Almost done. That should be it. Or do I have to kill the civilians too? Do I have to kill everything? Or perhaps I missed a turret somewhere. Yep, I missed a turret. I'll be up the turret and then I'll finish this mission for us. So, basic uh, overview, you know, base versus base. There's more complicated missions when you play the game. Uh, one last guy to kill. It looks like I'm already in here killing everything. As you see. So usually GDI can't attack civilians like this. But I guess you can in this mission just because... Um, Maybe they're hostile to GDI. Yes, Kill a few civilians. Because I can. Yes, sir. Eh, go up here and attack over here. Yes, He's going to get attacked by my guard here. There we go. So leadership, efficiency. Leadership, I guess, is based on how many units you lose compared to how many you build. Efficiency, um, I guess how much you kill. Total score. 
a base of like time and everything else, I guess. Took me an hour and 14 minutes to beat this mission, so it took a while, but that's, you know, stand for me. I take a while to do stuff. Uh, day two. All right, here's the final mission. Here we get a special unit called the Commando. And this is always a fun mission. Your mission in this is to blow up uh, an airfield, but it's not really specific what you're supposed to blow up, so you just have to blow up any structure in the enemy base and you win for this mission. You can blow up uh, buildings with this guy with C4. He's pretty, pretty powerful. We gotta watch your guys behind trees, apparently. I'm on it. I've got a present for you. Now, if I blow up this, I should get a Chinook. I'm on it. Let's have a I'm on it. You got it. I'm on it. No problem. No problem. Yep, a Chinook. <laughs> no problem. Use this to get across the way. I'm on it. Yes, sir. Moving on. Apparently, I can use this Chinook. Here's some friendly civilians this time around. I'm on it. No problem. I'm on it. No so you're gonna tell me which way to go? You got it. You got it. That was left handed. I'm on it. They actually program so sometimes you get help from like, you know, you individual units on the screen or whatever. I'm on it. Interesting and all that. Don't know how to get over there, but we're gonna I'm just go this way. You got it. Game of you got it. You got it. I don't exactly remember this mission, but the purpose is to get to the enemy base and blow up a structure of any sort. No problem. I'm on it. Top of the map. I'm on it. No problem. Let's go up here. As you can see from this guy, he's like a super anti-personnel guy. He basically snipes them in one shot with his no sniper problem. rifle. There's the enemy base. That was left. No problem. I'm on it. No problem. I should be able to possibly sneak in through here, so let's do that. In Red Alert, you get a special unit no instead of a commando called Tanya, which is I'm basically an allied super nation which has I'm like a it. couple dual pistols that rapidly kills enemies. I'm on it. And then no Tanya and Sun, which uh, no problem. you get some other time after that. No problem. No problem. You, got it. you, you uh, got get it. other special types of units, which are like mutants and Tiberium fused enemies or. Super powered soldiers, whatever. So it doesn't really matter what structure I blow up, but the main one you're supposed to blow up is the airfield. So let's do that. And blow them up. Done. So that's basically the demo. Nothing too snazzy, but it does give you an overview of what the game was like and what you could do. I found it really fun, and I actually prefer Command Conquer to um, the uh, you know Warcraft and Blizzard franchise from Blizzard. Um, I'll note that if I didn't know already, that you can buy, you can get Command Conquer free now. It's freeware, um, all free of the uh, um, initial stuff that they made. Command Conquer, Command Conquer Red Alert, and Command Conquer Tiberian Sun are all freeware, so you can just find it on the net, download it somewhere. Um, I enjoy playing it. And maybe you might too. Hope you enjoyed.